y'all. Welcome back to another day of Plan Miss. Today we're going to be doing something that is going to bring me a ton of pain. We are going to be looking at my very first video I ever posted on YouTube, I think about today, a year ago. Let's pull it up and just kind of look and see how much we've grown, see if anything I said even makes sense. We're just going to be critiquing. It'll be kind of lighthearted. I'm just making fun of myself. There's also probably things that I did right, but I think it's fun to see kind of where we've come from. That is not the right video. And we'll look at it together and just laugh and then go, oh my gosh, I'm so thankful that she's Googled some things and learned some stuff. <laughs> so if you're interested in laughing at myself with me, then let's go ahead and jump in. Oh, I did want to say too, before we get too far in, so we are currently on our second week of Plan Ms. We've got two more weeks left. I wanted to just give you a little bit of an outline of what you can expect. For the last two weeks of Plan Ms., there's been lots of content already, and I just want to give you a heads up. So I'm looking here at my calendar right now. So we are going to do some Christmassy spreads next week in my um, my horizontal planner. I've also, I was just like feeling in the spirit, uh, recorded a few daily spreads that I wanted to share, and I'm waiting for my Black Friday sale purchase to come in with my new undated planners, which one is the MAE and then one is the daily. Yes, I got an MAE and a daily. I want to give you a full in-depth review of those. I'm just waiting on those to come in. And then we'll also be, as we get closer to Christmas and then after Christmas, of course, jumping into everything 2023. So we'll just be strictly in the new planner. We'll close out December do a full year in review of our planner this year and then we'll jump right into january setting up our planner setting up january doing the word of the year creating vision boards we've got lots of content around that coming out but i don't want to jump too far ahead i want to stay in the christmas spirit and so we're going to save those videos for just about the week of christmas and then the week after and yeah, so today we're gonna be looking, like I said, at my very first video. Oh gosh, I'm scared. I really am. I just, I haven't watched it literally since I posted it a year ago. And there's probably a reason because I have learned a lot. All right, let me get my screen shared so we can look at this together. <laughs> okay, my very first video is technically the channel intro but that was just something i had read that would be helpful to have oh my gosh it has over a thousand views it's plum paper horizontal planner review and how to customize now as you can see my thumbnails have drastically changed i also know that my intro to this video is horrible but all right it's 22 minutes which is kind of extremely long for a first video so we probably won't watch the whole thing together because that's going to be a lot of pausing so just bear with me we'll we'll get through this okay lots of animations okay oh yeah I forgot hold on I didn't know this is so embarrassing I did not know you had to record um, sideways in landscape and not portrait and so when I went to upload and like edit oh my god I cannot believe that this exists this is embarrassing the music's loud I literally feel like I have to remove this from the internet it is easy to use however it's a little bit daunting so I just to give you a quick tutorial of how you can utilize it for yourself she I has good intentions like that, but i have used an Aaron for the last five or six i have years. talked about this a lot all of my planners right here so this <laughs> they're all down there crazy because i'm completely switching brands i'm completely switching it was a crazy change but i'm really excited to do that because i'm needing a little bit more of a template week to week okay exactly what i've created with mm -hmm. the plum paper true i'll have reflection boxes habit trackers i'll have headers for the tasks and to-dos and all of that of the day and those are things that i felt like i was mundanely writing a lot in my okay Aaron mundanely so okay having that template and i'm really excited to show you guys exactly what my planner looks like and help you customize your own can't wait okay 
So we are now on the Oh wow, we're doing a full website. thing. Okay. I'm just going to navigate to shop the planners. All right. So this is how you create your planner. So I'm going to sorry, I know it's probably hard to hear me. I'm going to skip this section. This is basically how to customize your planner. We have done this. I hope you know. I hope I have empowered you enough to know to do that. Don't go watch this video if you don't. We have better content since then. So let's now look at maybe just about the middle of the video and then we can jump to the end and see how I wrap things up. Oh my gosh. The music, the music is so loud. I sound kind of sick. Oh wow, that's a long pause. I am sick in this. <laughs> <laughs> the first video I ever posted. I'm sickened. I sound like so so nasally. I'm gonna put those in here and participate because who doesn't want popcorn on popcorn day? Oh my god, I can't. Okay, so yes, I did have full intentions to do very fun holidays this year, and I was really looking forward to that, but it just didn't happen. I got my plate got too full managing social media, my business, my work, and my personal life. I never put in the holidays. I never filled out this page actually. It's really funny like having this timestamp because I knew nothing. When I started YouTube, I had no intentions of running my own business. I had no idea if people would enjoy this content. I just was like, I'm going to do this. I'm going to sit down and figure this out. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. I know it's only been a year and I know I have a ton to learn. It's just cute and just maybe funny to see how much has changed. You get the gist. For this, I plan on putting in some monthly goals. Could be around the house. She did plan that. She did not do it. be more of a glimpse of what I want to accomplish each month. Okay. Oh, the pauses. Now, I don't know if y'all notice this, but in my videos, I try, when I edit my plan with me's, I am always editing out like the white space or um, when I'm cutting my stickers, you'll see like I have a sticker in my hand, I take it out of frame and then immediately bring it back in and it's cut. That's because I'm editing it down. I don't want you to have to sit through and lose interest. I'm trying to keep it, uh, keep, keep the entertainment up and so I don't have those breaks when I'm speaking or when I am editing. I always try and cut that stuff out. It's funny to kind of see these pauses because when you have a pause like this is when you can think like, oh, I have so many things I need to be doing and then you can get distracted and maybe exit the video. And so I've learned it's better to not have this type of white noise, if you will. It's just funny how much there is. It's like so boring. And my tone, my voice, I know I sound sick, but my tone of my voice sounds a little off to me too. Oh my gosh, I have almost the same color nails. It is Christmas. Okay, she's different. So we'll see how I utilize that, but really all those things don't need to be there. Oh, they don't. And the page on the right is what comes with the goals planner. So this mm -hmm. is the about Okay, so I said that right the first time. Somehow it got lost in the, I really like how in the year. For success. Okay. Oh God, it's just so hard. We'll just look through January. I hated that I had them printed in here. That is her fourth birthday. <laughs> I like how simple they make the spread so yes. that you can add your style to it. Mm -hmm. I do love that. And then over here on the right, we have a month view <laughs> of February, which will be the next month. Correct. Now we're flipping to what the first week of January will look like. You can see it has more gray <sighs> than what you'd expect. That's True. That's because of where the first day of January falls. Okay. Most of the week is gray. So we did create this with the customization tool. Okay, I didn't planner. quite explain that all the way. I just had gotten my planner, so I'm not sure I understood. What I was trying to say is when the week is split in your plum paper, the um, month will be grayed out the previous month and the new month will have this like lighter shade of that hue for the month's color. And you can see because this is horizontal, everything is grayed out except for the weekend, which is when January starts and it turns dark blue. That's what I was trying to say. I just don't feel like I closed that sentence well. We've learned. 
we have just like I designed it the best part of the week Okay. wellness which will include anything from working out to self-care to mental health just anything within okay. the wellness category and then I also have included dinner that's really the only meal that I meal prep for true if you will. we like to know what we're cooking ahead of the day usually ahead of the week I'm not that good about it anymore I just plan the day of don't let her fool you place and an intention as to where it's supposed to go and what's being tracked and I just love it. Okay. Over here on the left will be just a small to-do box to track those daily to-dos that you mm -hmm. need to jot down. Those daily to-dos, those pesky dailies. I'm going to track my Bible verse of the week. I'm gonna I have loved to having that. Very intentionally, and I want it there so I have the constant reminder. Okay. And then habit tracking is new for me, but I'm really excited to track those things that you think you'd be doing every day, but mm -hmm. you're really not. Still struggle so with the habits. Keep me accountable, and I'm looking forward to it. It has not kept me accountable. It has kept me in trouble. I forget <laughs> to do my habits like all the time. Um, gosh, it's so funny. Like there's so much, you just don't know what you don't know sometimes, but I actually really didn't like having the words printed in this year. And so I actually removed them for my 2023 planner uh, just to have the ability to switch it out. I didn't like that I was stuck with those headers that said wellness and dinner. I also changed the best of this week for the year, and I also sometimes, instead of doing a Bible verse, would write in a quote, didn't have to be scripture, and so I felt limited. I know that going into this year, I was looking for more structure, and like I said in this video, I was looking for um, to have to write less, but it's a double-edged sword, and I think that my opinion on that has changed. I'd rather have the ability to change it and have my header be priority, top three, today, birthday, anything like that where I can just highlight anything instead of it having to be wellness or dinner. And so that has changed for me. And Saturday and Sunday is where it gets a little bit different. This is oh. the only thing I don't love about this section. I still don't what love. What I'm going to do is I'm going to divide it mm -hmm. down the middle and make it a bigger box and have the day split because okay. Saturday and Sunday are very different days for me. Now, very different things. that's so funny. That's very true to me still. The Saturday and Sunday was hard for me, and so when I designed my own horizontal kits, I broke it up. I made one big box for the weekend and then had a Saturday and Sunday and that was because it doesn't work for me. Saturday and Sunday are super different days. I'm usually busy on Saturday out and about and then Sunday is cleaning, groceries, prepping for the week. It's just very different and so I wanted to be able to call that out. When we finish up the weekly here, we'll jump to the end. We don't need to review the whole thing. Designate a small section vertically for that and I think that will work great. And then I could put the to-dos on the side as I usually would. <laughs> so this is what I was talking about with the oh, actual month. Oh, I'm of January. explaining myself. As you can see, it's very different from the split when mm -hmm. the week is including the previous. Oh yeah, she knows. So it's a dark. Blue oh, I stepped away from the mic. Actually, no, I didn't even have a microphone. I was actually recording this voiceover with the phone up to my face. I didn't know that I needed a microphone. So this was filmed on my phone, which I still record on my phone. And then I uploaded it to Splice, which is the app I still use. Voiced over with no microphone, I was just sitting there like this. And I actually didn't get a microphone until my birthday in April. So like all the first four months on YouTube, I didn't have a microphone and the audio is, I don't wanna say bad, that's not fair, cause I was trying, but it was poor quality even with my best efforts, and it was really sporadic. So like this, if I stepped away from the mic or pulled pulled it out for a minute, you know, in between um, cutting clips, the sound is different. Whereas like when I'm wearing a mic, it does a better job of regulating. And so it's just, it's funny. <laughs> and I really like this. I can't wait to add my own personal touch with stickers. To True. I agree. So oh, we just transitioned. Okay, so let's go to the end and see if we go back to front facing at all. Stop, stop talking to me. Oh yeah, all those add-ons that I didn't use. Okay, okay, there is, we're back. Let's see what she has to say. That part of my planner. Not as everything. 
I wanted to show you how thick it was. I think I got 62 out of 70 pages. So don't be like me. 62 out of 70 pages on the add-ons. I have struggled this whole year with a thick planner and I talked about this in one of my recent videos. I can't remember which one, but oh, I, when I was talking about add-ons and how I made this mistake and how difficult it has been to deal with having a thick planner and I ended up tearing out quite a bit of my add-ons because I went kind of add-on crazy with my first plum and I didn't use them and so that was a learning curve. My planner, she's thick. She is thick. <laughs> That's it for today's video. If you guys are interested in following along on my journey with plum paper in 2022, <laughs> please subscribe below. I'll be showcasing how I set up my monthly planner and then showing I you did do that. flip throughs. I'll leave it all in there so you can see what, what I accomplish and what, what I don't. don't. I remember you saying that. Soon. Happy planning. Aw, that's so cute. Oh my gosh, the end. Hold on, let's see how it really looks. I hope your day goes as planned. That's cute. Okay, I have a few comments. Number one, A for effort, right? I was trying to make that as good as I can. It's just not, <laughs> it's just not quite there. Um, it's really a very strange feeling. I can't describe it to look back at myself from a year ago and how much I've grown on YouTube and how much I've learned and how much we've grown. When I made that video, I had zero followers, zero. I had no idea what I was doing and now we have over 700 strong. And I think it's just really cool that we built this community together and have the space to plan and to grow and to change. So I don't know, I want to like hug her and say, hey, you're gonna figure it out you did it like you're doing fine i feel like i've grown so much internally whether whatever the numbers say i feel like i have grown so much as a person through planning through these life skills that i've learned with youtube getting to communicate with y'all i just i'm proud i don't know why it makes me so emotional i'm proud that she was brave enough to start and then we're gonna continue and keep it going so it's just really, really, I guess, inspiring. It's good to watch this in the middle of Plan Miss when I'm filming so many videos. It just is awesome. The other thing I wanted to say too, my intro and outro, definitely different. And also, you'll notice it says KJ here. So when I first started YouTube, I didn't go by my business brand name. My name is Kate, but my middle name and first name make KJ, and so I didn't know how much I wanted to share online, and I had, uh, my name was KJ Plans. And then when I joined Instagram and had my YouTube and started getting into the community, I realized there were a lot of like fill in the blank plans, fill in the blank plans, and I was like, oh no, there's actually a ton of Kates and Katies in the planner world, and so I was like, okay, I feel like this is kind of confusing. And then when I decided I wanted to open my business, I was like, that doesn't really fit what I want, I didn't want my Etsy shop to be KJ Plans. I wanted to be able to grow my business into something that's bigger than me. I didn't want it to have to be an extension of my face. I wanted it to speak for itself. And so I was like, okay, Willow Paper Design is just where we're gonna land. And I was like, I'm more comfortable sharing my name. And so I changed it when I opened my business um, in May and or in June. And that was just something that made sense so anyways I don't know I don't know how you feel looking at that or if you've been following since way back when if you have thank you so much this has been the year of my life getting to figure this whole thing out and we're just getting started so I really appreciate your support I hope you got a laugh out of today's video and can see that we have learned a few things since a year ago let me look at what the date is posted this oh my gosh this was posted yesterday almost exactly a year later a year and a day later that's crazy oh my gosh well thanks for hanging out with me today this makes me feel very warm and fuzzy inside 
and I just appreciate your support this far through Plan Miss and on this YouTube journey, whether you also hang out with me on Instagram or purchase anything from my Etsy shop, just thank you. Thank you for letting me have this ability to be who I am in this space. In the words of past me, I hope your day goes as planned. I will see you tomorrow. Happy Plan Miss.